Welcome back to Loop Core Automotive. This is going to be an edition of How to Fix a Volvo. If you have paid attention to any of the videos that we've done recently, this is my 1994 Volvo 940. Today we are tackling a pretty simple process, but something that you cannot find an instruction on anywhere online. We're going to show you how to do the blower motor resistor replacement. So, blower motor replacement. How do we know we need to replace a blower motor? Well, there's a couple of quick, easy ways to say that. Uh, one, it doesn't blow. Eh, it does blow, but it only blows either not blow or all blow. What I mean. We're on four. Three, two, one. Zero. No difference. All the way through. On five, we've got a hurricane. I don't know if you can see my beard moving, but it's happening. So, typically speaking, this means blower motor resistor is bad. Very common situation, not a big deal. Um, in this case, when it comes to electronics, especially in European cars, I almost always will go with an OEM product. Um, you can save a couple of bucks going with an aftermarket piece, but typically speaking, not worth a headache. I'd like to do this job one time and not have to just keep on doing it because my part failed or it didn't work in the first place. So, I do have a brand new blower motor resistor from Volvo. There you go. Mm, there you go. It's in focus now. So, brand new blower motor resistor from Volvo. Um, we're gonna get that guy put in here. So, how do we do this? Simple. Well, pretty simple. Your blower motor and your blower motor resistor sit inside your glove box in here. So, in order to do that, you need to take out the glove box and typically speaking, your knee panel down here. Um, and there's also going to be a brace that goes in there that you got to take out as well. So, I'm uh, going to start doing some disconnection and uh, take it apart. And I will walk you through that process as we go. Alright, so step one for access to the blower motor and blower motor resistor. Remove the glove box. Glove box. In order to remove the glove box, you need to remove the trim piece pieces that cover the bolts that hold the glove box in. Now what I'm talking about is right here. See these little pieces here? These are not actually pieces of the glove box. These are actually trim pieces. You can see somebody has wedged on it there. Boom. And boom. There you go. Now we've got bolt, bolt. Once those pieces are out, this glove box will come out and give us access to everything else. So one thing to note here, these actually on mine are T20s. Uh, on other vehicles, I have seen these be Phillips heads. So you may end up needing a T20, which is a nice little handy piece here. Or you may be able to use this with a Phillips head screwdriver. It depends on your situation. Either way, bing, bang, boom. Those guys come out. All right, so now that we've got our shroud off from inside the glove box, we're going to move to underneath, which is the knee panel, which is this guy here. This has to come off, otherwise you have no access to where you need to be. In order to get that off, you have two 10 millimeter bolts. One here and here. One right here. You've also got a couple of little screw tabs there. And then this whole piece will come off underneath. One thing you'll probably notice from a car this old, uh, somebody's usually already been here and done this before. Um, so you will oftentimes find stripped head bolts or were stripped issues. Um, these were supposed to be T15s. They weren't. Um, these are 10 millimeters that are underneath this. Hopefully they are on yours as well. So, we'll get those off and we'll keep moving. So now that we've got glove box out and the under panel off, you can remove this knee brace if you absolutely have to. But in this case, on a 94, 940, you shouldn't have to. It's actually a pretty simple, easy process to get to. I'll fly you underneath the dash here. So this guy right here is your blower motor resistor. Pretty simple to get to, no big deal. It's just held in here with two bolts, slides right back out, easy peasy. So we gotta take these two bolts off, which should be about an eight millimeter, and then disconnect the wiring harness from this guy, and we're good to go. In my case, it's a seven millimeter bolt that holds that blower motor resistor in. This top one is going to be a bit more difficult. All right. And there you go. There's my old blower motor. 
So, disconnect all of these pins. Came out of that little hole. You have to be a little uh, finagly to get this thing out correctly because it is a little bit bigger or a little bit awkward compared to the hole that's in here. So you gotta be a little bit careful, a little bit wibbly wobbly to get it out of there. crappy crusty part on the right new shiny piece here again verify your parts are the same setup once before you start plugging everything in same plug same bolt pattern everything is good except for that one is singed and that one isn't so there we go put the brand new piece in we should have our blower motor back so how do you install it everything we just did backwards Pretty much. Piece of cake. Here we go. So we've got big connector, middle connector, end connector. So a big connector. Nice and tight. Middle connector. And end connector. Done. Since this is all done, before we put it all back together again, let's check and see whether or not our repair actually worked, which should be now. Floor motor resistor has been replaced. We're gonna hope this gives me multiple different fan speeds. We're gonna really hope it frees up the air conditioning system to actually work as well. We'll see. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha We have zero, one, two, three, four. Look at that. hoo -ah. Now, the air conditioning kick on. Does not seem to. So, on the dash here, we have different little lights, right? So, actually, actually, that seems to be blowing cold and I can hear the extra drag on the motor from the AC kicking in. So maybe our light just doesn't work on the dash. That is most certainly blowing cold air out. We are champions. It works. Congratulations, you have replaced a blower motor resistor. And we have shown you how. Consequently, we also fixed the air conditioning in this car, so it actually does work now, which is nice. So there you go. Blower motor resistor replacement, 1994 940 Volvo. Uh, now all I gotta do is put all this stuff back together again, like it was from the factory. And um, yeah, we're good to go. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you've learned a little thing uh, to replace your blower motor resistor on an old school Volvo. Uh, as always, we appreciate the support. Like, comment, click on subscribe if you want to see this, and all kinds of other random stuff. We'll see ya.